This is the Blaring Out with Eric Blair Show, and we're here at D.D. Ramon, a memorial exhibition at Shepherd Ferry's Subliminal Projects Gallery with Barbara Ramon. What is the importance of, of this D.D. Ramon art show tonight? It's, it's pretty big. I, I haven't really seen these paintings for like 10 years. I mean, um, I, these paintings were, on, uh, they were in Germany. And then I, I was supposed to get him back, but I, I just didn't for some reason. And then finally, with John's help, um, finally got him back. And now, for like the first time in like ten years, like they're like shown to the world or to people who care anyway, you know. Now I know that you and Didi collaborated on a lot, of, a, a few pieces of artwork together. So how did you? How did that work out? Did he would he do a little bit, and then you would come in and do a little bit, or would you guys sit down together and work on the piece? Yeah, we will sit down together and and work on it. You know, he like first he'll do like you know a little drawing of it, and then somehow like you know maybe I'll add something or like you know I'll talk about it whatever. Somehow like it just becomes like a painting, but it's not really like thought or anything. You know what I mean? It's not like. You're thinking about it for a long time, you know what I mean? It's just maybe something funny that happened or something that somebody said, you know what I mean? And it just became what it is, you know? I mean, I think a lot of artwork is like that. A lot of great art is, I think when you think about things too much, it, it's not, it doesn't really happen when you're just kind of doing it. And then when you're done, it's like, whoa, look at this. It just seems like sometimes, I mean, like you can, you can think of something and then, you know, execute it and then have you know what you thought but it's just like this way it seems like you know if you think too much it never really ends up being what you first thought so it's just kind of like you just make it as you go and I don't know there's also like so many like I don't know he's got he had so many ideas and he saw so many things through his eyes that to him I think everything was pretty much art in the world you know because I mean he did everything he played he painted he wrote books I think it's as artistic as you can get. After not seeing this artwork for so many years, which which piece really stands out to you now and would you say is maybe your favorite? Wow, there's there's a couple. I like the one where he is it's it's blue in the background and he just writes and it's a little one and he talks about, you know, what people want and what what it is that life is. And then I love the one where the guy's eating the soup. I noticed there's a, a, a Sid Vicious one in there. It's like a collaboration. Oh, like, oh yeah, the one where like he's on the on the table with the doctor, like chopping him off. Oh yeah, that's that was a series of that was kind of like a cartoon, like with like that's one of the squares where like you know one of the scenes of what's going on, and it's about uh, you know Sid Vicious getting a lobotomy, and. <laughs> And um, she's getting kidnapped by some doctor and taken to a horror hospital and getting a lobotomy and getting various body parts chopped off and I don't know, it's fun. Why do you think that, that Dee Dee and the Ramones music is, has lived on and on and on? Well, obviously, because it's wonderful <laughs> and true and I don't know, it's just like... No, no, it's like life, you know, it's just something that has got to be and it can, I mean, timeless. The Blaring Out Show.